Hey, what's up everybody? This is Josh from Upright Health and today we're going to talk about tight hips from driving. And this is kind of a common thing that I get reported to me from a lot of my clients. Um, it happens to me myself and sometimes when you have to be in the car for a long period of time, whether maybe you're commuting or you're just on a long road trip, your hips start to get tight, right? The front of the hip um, here in this anterior portion gets really tight. Sometimes you get a little bit of low back ache as well. So recently I just discussed kind of some strategies with a client and it really helped him on his drive down to LA, which is somewhere around a six hour drive um, from not tightening up and getting that pain that he usually gets. So we're just going to share some of that with you today. So a lot of the time when we get in a relaxed position while we're driving, what happens, and uh, Kristen actually talked about this a little bit in a recent video, sitting with anterior pelvic tilt, is you let your, your belly kind of relax here. And what that kind of does is we get shifted into anterior pelvic tilt, and my lower back is kind of overextended here, okay? And this is a pretty comfortable position to get into when you've been in the car for a long period of time. But what happens is now these hip flexors become shortened and um, your lower spine is overextended and now this is giving you this feeling of tightness and it doesn't feel good, right? So now you're getting all this discomfort here and you know it can lead to that occasional lower back ache as well, okay? So a simple strategy to fix this is just to try to force some posterior tilt, okay? So I'm going to try to bring my hips under me. I'm going to engage my stomach a little bit here. And now I'm a lot more neutral in the way I'm sitting. And the other thing that we discussed, one of my clients um, achieved some glute contraction. Now it's kind of hard to contract your glutes while you're sitting down, but let's say you have this puppy on cruise control and you're not needing to get your feet onto the pedals here. You can kind of force your heels into the ground. And when I do that, I actually feel my butt contract a little bit here. Okay. So now I'm getting these kind of small um, glute contractions to keep my hips under me and in a neutral position. And this is just going to be better for your hip health while you're you're driving for this long period of time, okay? Now, last thing I wanna discuss really quick is that a lot of the time when we're driving here, we adapt kind of an externally rotated hip position, okay? So you're just kind of letting your hips um, fall out to the side like this, all right? Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but when this is the position that you take for hours at a time, then this can become a problem, okay? So simply just pulling the knees back in, getting a little bit more internal rotation into your hip joint here is going to help offset these long periods of being in this position. So if we get externally rotated and then the belly loose here, now we're just kind of crushing ourselves in this position. So to reverse, we're gonna tuck the hips under, we're gonna internally rotate at the hip joint, and now we can try, kind of try to um, find this better position that's going to keep our body a little bit more neutral and out of that feeling of tightness. Last one I wanna add here is if you put a little pressure down on the steering wheel, take both your hands up here and kind of just, you know, push down a little bit, that'll actually trigger your core ab muscles to come on a little bit and activate. So now, all those things that we were trying to achieve, this will actually help that um, by bringing those abs on and getting that pelvis hip area into a better position. All right, guys, so those are just some strategies on how you can stay a little bit more healthy while you're, you know, maybe on a road trip or maybe just commuting to work. Um, if you have any more questions on this, let us know. Remember, pain sucks, life shouldn't.